Hello everyone, Sandria here. So in this video, I'll be telling you very quickly which five quests are needed to unlock the five blueprints for the new Inazuma craftables, one for each type. I will not be showing you how to do any of the quests in here, however, I'll be showing you around where you can accept the quest line or something like that. So with that said, let's get started. So let's start with the um, easiest one which is the single hand sword. You're able to accept this quest once you teleport to Jinri Island. It is actually on the other island, not the one the TP point is. You will be able to find, as you can see up there, there is a cage up there. And When you first arrive there, you'll find someone in the cage and you have to unlock them out. And once they're out, you'll find them down near the shore, down here. Um, they will find them on this island near the shore. And then there is an entire quest line to do called the farmer's treasure. And once you finish that quest line, that quest line will reward you the blueprint for the single hand sword, which you can use. And then, when you go to the when you go to the blacksmith, he will know how to craft the single hand sword. So that's the way for getting it. Now moving on to the second one, which is the bow. The bow is actually the most annoying to get, if that makes sense, because it does take up to seven days of you just trying your luck. So the bow can actually be found here if you zoom in very much. You can see a. Uh, so if you zoom down here, you can see that in the far end there is a seashell-like house, a house that's basically within a seashell. So there is a dude that lives in the house, and he asks you to trade three shells, three conches, for the opportunity to open a common chest. Now the item inside those common chests are all very bad in the sense that they're always like. Uh, mining crystals or like um, chicken, chicken um, fowls or stuff like that. It's all very bad. However, up to after up to seven days within one of these chests, you will be able to find the bow pro the bow blueprint you are looking for. As for how to collect the conches, they're generally found around here. It will just appear as a normal investigation. I think I've cleared all of them around here, so I can't find any right now. But uh, you'll be able to find them, and they go by the name, I believe, Mysterious Conch in the um, quest item material. So they go by this name, which is the Mysterious Conch. And if you happen to get a bag of flower seeds from this dude within one of his uh, chests, this can also open up another special achievement and quest for you. So for the two-handed sword, which is a claymore, you can actually find this within Kujo encampment by interacting with this dude. When you first walk into Kujo encampment, you should see him arguing with a shrine maiden, and then that, after you listen to their argument, which you will be forced to if you walk too close to them, after that, this opens up the entire questline of Tatara Tales, which, which involves you dealing with an international trade person around here, whose name is Xavier. He basically asks you to go in here every day to do something. It's going to be something different every single day. The entire quest line will last up to seven days, and somewhere between the quest line, you will be able to find three keys, which gets you into one of the hidden doors around here. And then once that happens, it will give you access to within one of the chests. You'll find the blueprints for the double hand sword. So that is the how to get the double hand sword. The final two are going to be a little bit long and annoying to do, however, uh, they do reward you pretty heavily in the end. So for the catalyst, which is I believe called the white dragon ring or something, it can actually be picked up as soon as you enter in Azuma pretty much. So you're able to pick that up around here, you'll find a shrine maiden around here. The entire quest is very long, it has multiple parts which involves you running all over this island to fix shrines and stuff like that. In the end it even involves a boss fight, so do prepare for that. But uh, after the long quest line, which should be roughly an hour or so, you are able to get the white ring which comes from a very good piece of memorial item. So do note that if you use that piece of item, you are no longer be able to obtain it. And the white ring is not very good in terms of playability. So for those of you collectors out there, it might be up to you to keep that piece of item instead of using it. But it's up to you, honestly. And finally, the last piece of the last piece of prototype blueprint you need to get is from around here on this island. Now of course we all know that when you first arrive in Yashiori Island you are basically surrounded by storms at all times. And this is the quest that you need to accept to basically change the weather of this island. This 
quest will have five parts. I have done it three times so far, once by myself and twice helping friends. Overall, it takes me around an hour to do it, but that does factor in the fact that I need to show my friends where to walk and what to click and stuff like that. But overall, I do expect around 40 minutes to an hour for this quest. And you can accept this quest right here. You have a dude that's talking to you who have a quest world quest icon up so as soon as you accept this quest and walk through the entire part of the five quests you end up around here and when you talk to him at the end of the quest here he will give you the pole arm prototype so that's how you obtain all five prototypes in genshin impact for the inazuma region that is all i have for you today if you like the video please consider subscribing thank you and have a nice day